Hi, welcome to Have a Guitar. Uh, I hope you had a lovely Christmas holidays. Uh, still not over here. For my sake, I've had a fever and a bad cold, still a bit sore in the throat, but um, that's how it goes. Also outside right now there's a raging uh, storm of hail and snow. So if, if you hear some funny sounds in the background, you'll know what that is. I was shocked when I looked out the window. Uh, anyway, uh, today's topic is tone shaping in the camper. I've been talking a little bit about that before and uh, today uh, I was thinking about going through the parameters for the amplifier because those parameters can change a lot if, if you dial in the right for you tone so to speak. Uh, so I'm just going to go through them. Some of you might already be familiar with this. Uh, for me, it took a while before I actually found the section where you do it uh, and it can change the sound or your tone a lot if you do it uh, in a good way, so to speak. So let's get going with this. So to access all those parameters for the amplifier, you just press the amplifier button. It will be illustrated by a picture here somewhere, I think, I hope. Uh, for this example, I'm using the Vishnu pack from Matfig which is a George Lynch uh, Brahma circuit paired up with a GCM 800 uh, so it's a modded Marshall amplifier so out of the box uh, the profile sounds like this <laughs> So the first parameter you'll see is definition, which is uh, kind of described as the characteristics of the amplifier in the manual. It's like vintage on one side, modern on the other side. We've seen that on a bunch of different amplifiers like uh, Marshall Vintage Modern for example. Also in the Blackstar H25 that we were testing in a previous video. So currently it's set for 10 max value. Uh, so if I Take the opposite value, it's now set for zero. That will sound like this. A little bit too dark for my taste. Going from zero to five sounds like this. to my liking I mean yeah so the next parameter is power sagging uh, should increase the energy in the presence of the of the um, tone or the sound uh, without increasing the volume currently it's set for zero and I think if you increase it to five uh, that's the maximum limit for a real physical uh, amplifier so you can actually on the camper increase it above what you could do in the, in real life so to speak so this is so this is power sagging uh, increased from zero up to five. Can we tell any difference? <laughs> Back to zero. Yeah, now some difference, of course. Uh, back to five. And this, and this, 
is maximum value 10. <laughs> To me, I'm not so sure what you're saying, but it does add, as they say or state in the manual, both energy and presence, but maybe not ten. But I'm well thinking that five could be five. Five could be the number that I would go with, so let's... A little bit out of tune. Tune the guitar. The next parameter is pick. It's called pick. So uh, it will affect uh, the level and the sharpness of uh, when you pick the strings. Uh, can create some percussive sounds, uh, all according to the manual, and uh, increase the clarity and not adding so much gain still. So it's currently set for zero in this profile, and we know how it sounds now. I have increased definition and power sagging to five. Uh, or rather decreased definition, added some power sagging. So uh, this is this is how it sounds right now. This is pick at uh, plus five, so it's maximum value. Now that produced some ugly extra sounds that I didn't like. You can also decrease it to minus five, which is the setting right now. Sounds like this. Sounds more like a bad compressor setting to me, like ducking or something like that, if you heard that the, the notes kind of ducked occasionally. So, I'm not sure if I want to add anything of that, not on this profile. We can try plus, yeah, plus 2.5 to see if that makes any good difference rather than the previous. <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep it at zero. Didn't make any much difference for me, uh, not that I wanted anyway. Only when I turned it up really high or really low, you could get really feel almost, or rather hear the difference, of course. Uh, but I didn't, I didn't like what I heard that much. So uh, could differ from different profiles, of course. But uh, for this profile, I'll stick with zero. That's fine by me. All right. So the last. A parameter on the first page is compressor, which is a different kind of compressor. It's not like the stomp boxes or, or rack units that you put before or after the amplifier. It's like a circuit built into the amplifier, or in this case, emulated, I guess, as it, we're talking about digital stuff here. So, 
of course we want to hear what difference does it make uh, it's currently set for zero that's how it came you cannot you cannot set it for below zero so and maximum whoo, maximum is uh, oh, maximum is 10 number before in this profile so I'm setting it for five it doesn't scream now anyway so <laughs> oh, sorry I think it does affect the sustain quite a bit <laughs> the sound really nice uh, at this level uh, up to 10 that was impossible unless you use a noise gate at a high setting but <laughs> I think uh, yeah 2.0 tightens up uh, the sound in a nice way that I like uh, so that's why I keep it for this profile anyway yeah so the next parameter is clarity that's something which I quite often use actually on, on um, various rigs or profiles rather uh, and it does just what the name says it's it clarifies the sound so you can read more about all these parameters in the in the manual uh, because I'm not taking up every sentence written about them because I don't think it's necessary but if you want more detailed information go into the manual and read that one so clarity clarity is set for zero on this uh, Profile from Matt Fink. So let's drive it up to 10. That's the maximum value. I don't think that will make a good difference for this profile, but maybe. You never know. Not that bad, actually. Maybe a little bit too much. Let's get back to zero once just to compare. It's kind of a subtle, subtle uh, difference. You can almost more feel it when you play than hear it right out. I'll, it'll be interesting to see how that will be captured on uh, uh, on the video, of course. Um, uh, but uh, I like it here. It's set for 6.5. It's really... Uh... <laughs> Sounds great! Okay, <clears throat> can you see me? <laughs> All right, so the next parameter is tube shape. Uh, I wonder what that could do. Uh, the shape of the tube, perhaps, of course. It goes from soft to hard. Uh, the setting for this profile comes with 3.3. .3. Uh, 
and you know how it sounds by now after me doing some modifications. So if I turn that down to zero, you can clearly hear a difference. Back to 3.3. .3. Five zero. That also sounds good. But I kind of like the high setting, so let's try tube shape eight dot zero. Eight dot zero, please. There we go. I like that, kind of adds some fullness and a good, uh, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. Brilliance. Okay, we'll keep it at that. Uh, tube shape 8.0 made my day. <laughs> okay, so the third parameter on the second page is tube bias. Uh, described as the structure of the distortion. If you crank it up to full, uh, which is 10, uh, you should get a characteristic or a structure like a tube screamer, according to the manual. Uh, so let's play around with that, that value to see how it affects the current profile I'm testing this out on. Right now, we're in the stage where it sounds like this. Okay, so this is tube bias set for maximum value, 10. sound bad but it has a little tone of harshness into it I think so I'm lowering that to five here's five let's see the difference it's like the mid position you could say try without any bias again. This is the original value. Now the manual describes it as having a very subtle effect and I think I gotta agree on that one because I kind of liked it when I had it around five. Let's try that once more. Maybe we'll go with that. I don't know. I think I often use that word, I think, but I think it gives, gives the profile a little bit more bite. Maybe?
kind of nice. If I run with the neck pickup, it's like this. Okay, so the fourth parameter on this second page is uh, direct mix, which should like open up for a clean channel, something like that, what I read about in the manual. And no idea, it's set for zero right now, so let's turn it up. All the way. All the way to 10. You'll be a surprise to see how it sounds now. <laughs> sure if you can hear it as clear as I do when I'm sitting here playing but it do add clean like a clean signal to the distorted sound can you hear it I'm sure you can it's not something what, that I'm looking for right now so I'm gonna remove that so it adds it adds uh, I never used that before direct mix adds a clean Clean tone to a distorted tone. I'm sure that can be useful sometimes, but not right now. Then you also have the volume. I think that speaks for itself. It's how loud it'll be. Okay, so that was a quick look, or kind of quick, look into the parameter settings for the amplifier section in the camper. You can do a lot to your tone in that section, just venture in and there. You shouldn't be afraid of twitching the parameters, you can always just reload the old profile again. So I added some delay, as you might ha have heard in when I demoed the sound of soloing to that backing track. <laughs> Kind of nice, add some space to the tone, also <coughs> it feels, kind of gives you a little sustained vibe when you add some delay, if you do it at the right amount, this could have been a little bit too, little bit too much perhaps, but I think it's fine, anyway. So I hope you learned something, I know I did, I try to learn something new every day that you should do. So I hope your Christmas has been great, all the holidays, I hope your New Year's Eve will be great. Uh, I will probably publish a small surprise video on um, on the same day as the new year. Uh, so you could keep your eye open for that if you want to see it. But you should really be more busy celebrating the new year. And you can watch that video later. Right? So, uh, my cold is not giving in. Uh, my throat is really sore right now. <clears throat> have a hard time talking so I'll stop doing that thanks ever so much for watching if you subscribe what can I say uh, I, I'm um, I'm in awe that's all I can say so thanks a lot to all of you who are watching subscribing liking commenting uh, really do appreciate it. it it makes it so much more fun to make these videos so that's just great so Stay safe, be well, I hope your new year will be absolutely fantastic. I will try to make mine uh, something like that at least, as long as I can get rid of this cold. So, till the next video, take care, bye.